Hello, I'm Bill McKagan. I'm the president of Dan D'Agostino Master Audio Systems, and we're here in our facility in Cave Creek, Arizona. And in front of me is our brand new Relentless preamplifier. What I'd like to do today is go through some of the technologies and features that we have built into this spectacular preamplifier. The Relentless preamplifier features a unique construction. The look is classic Dan D'Agostino Master Audio Systems, but the construction of it is unique to the preamplifier category. We have three chassis. Power supply in the middle, flanked by the two audio chassis, left on top, right on the bottom. Typically, a cable would be used to connect these chassis, but we use something different in a relentless preamplifier. We use 20 amp fixed connectors in the feet. So all power signal and audio signal is carried through these connectors, eliminating the wire, eliminating any possible cause of loss or distortion in the audio signal. Everything in the Relentless series is about delivering the most musical presentation we can. That's absolutely true in the Relentless preamplifier and of course in its companion amplifier, the Relentless mono amplifier. Starting with the power supply, which is located in the center, it, we isolate from the two audio chassis. We put in two separate power supplies, one for the analog circuitry and one for the digital circuitry. It features line conditioning and surge protection for any anomalies that might happen on the AC line. From there, the feet take the signal both to the bottom chassis as well as to the top chassis. Power supply in a preamplifier is often overlooked. It needs to be large. It needs to be able to deliver on dynamics that the music has within its grooves or within the streams or within the discs that you listen to. Those two transformers are drive a 26,000 microfarad bank of capacitance that not only can deliver the delicate low volume signals, but also can immediately ramp up and give you the most dynamic playback under heavy duress without any change to the audio performance of the Relentless preamplifier. The audio circuitry itself contains classic D'Agostino circuit concepts that we've used for many years, but now taken to another level. Boards are all four layer, very sophisticated, very expensive to, to use, but allow us to have a density of circuitry that otherwise is just not possible. It's all executed using balance circuitry. It's all direct coupled. It's all discrete. It's all complementary. It's all executed without any global negative feedback either. What does that give us? That gives us a frequency response that's from zero hertz out to 120K ruler flat. From the power supply, we feed signal to the two audio chassis. And in the audio chassis, it's just that. There are only, there's only audio circuitry. All balanced inputs on the back, balanced outputs as well. But the circuitry itself is something that we had as a concept a number of years ago. We wanted to test out the idea of using a FET as part of our input stage. That circuitry ended up in the momentum preamplifier because it was the only place we could test the concept. We built versions for the momentum and that became our momentum HD. But here in the relentless preamp, it is the fullest expression of that circuitry. Probably the most striking visual element on the Relentless preamplifier are the volume controls, one for the left channel, one for the right channel, but they are actually linked. You can control the volume of the whole system using either one of the volume controls. They are copper plated brass metal pieces, but within are another 14 elements to give you an unbelievably rich feel to the volume control itself. The volume control circuitry itself uses a collection of military grade, high linearity relays. We only insert the exact resistor we need for the volume that you've selected on the volume control itself. It's a unique system that we use. And the reason we use this is because a typical volume control has problems at low volumes and high volumes, distortions at low and compression at high volumes. We want to make sure that you have exactly the same quality of sound, whether you're at the lowest of whispers or the biggest of crescendos. The process we use of individual relays guarantees that performance. Of course, the main design goal of the Relentless Preamplifier was the ultimate in music playback. But we thought we should be able to wrap that in with a great feature set and a unit that is fun and easy to operate. One of the unique features is that it's a two source, two zone preamplifier. And what does that mean? It means you can play two sources simultaneously in your house and control the volume independently of each one. The unit itself defaults to zone one, it's in red. 
set input one as the source that we want to play in zone one. And now either volume control will control the volume of the whole system. If we want to activate zone two, we just press the zone two button. The bottom volume control becomes a lighter green. And now we select what input we want to listen to in the other part of the house. In this case, I have input number two going. Now the top volume control controls zone one. It automatically drops into the red LEDs so that you can tell you're operating zone one. And then if I adjust the bottom, we switch right back to zone two and it controls zone two's volume control. If you want to deactivate zone two, we just hold the, hold the zone two button. And now we're back to zone one. I've been doing all the operation of the unit from the front panel, of course, but we also have a remote control that comes with the relentless preamplifier. It features Bluetooth technology, Bluetooth 5.0, which is a very extended uh, range Bluetooth, but it also gives us feedback so that the remote control, when I press the button on the unit, on the remote, or do anything on the front panel, it's reflected in the display that's in the remote control. So it has a touch panel for ease of operation, but it also has a full menu system and complete feedback back and forth. So don't have to squint to see what uh, the volume is. It's all right in your hand. We also have some other operations that actually just change the way the front panel looks to indicate that it is in a different mode. One of those is mute, which flashes the displays so that you know you're in a different mode. Of course, your sound is going to be uh, disabled at that, that point, can bring it back. It also has a polarity button, which flips the absolute polarity of the signal. Some recordings are, that is not kept intact. And so by using this button, you can reverse that polarity or flip it and now listen to the recording with that setting. There's no right or wrong here. You find that you like one or the other, this just gives you the option to do that. We can go back to the normal. For sure, the Relentless Preamplifier is geared up for the ultimate in two channel music playback, but we do know that folks like to integrate these into home theaters. Uh, we have a way in with input number three of bypassing the volume system of the, of the Relentless Preamplifier and transferring that to the surround processor that's connected to it. In normal operation, input number three is just that. It is a normal balanced input, but if we hold the number three button down, You'll see 70 comes up, the needles match that as well. And now in that mode, there's no attenuation of your signal and there's no gain. There's zero impact from the volume control. That again, would all be transferred to your surround processor and that would control the ultimate or all of your volume in the system at that point. I'd like to just talk about one last feature that we've added to the Relentless Preamplifier. It's a unique one for us. We've never had a preamplifier that had this as an option and it's a digital streaming module. It's housed in the power supply chassis. So we continue to isolate the digital from the analog circuits. Here, when it does commingle, we do have them optically isolated with separate ground planes. So they are truly separate entities within the preamplifier. When you do add the digital streaming module, which can be done at the original time of manufacturing or later, if it needs to be added down the road, you get a suite of legacy inputs, coax, optical and USB, but we also add some network inputs as well, an ethernet jack, as well as Wi-Fi connection when those systems, when, for the systems that don't have an ethernet jack close by. We have a differential dual DAC balanced setup in the digital section of the DAC. And we also have the feature set with our own app for iOS devices. It's going to be RUNE certified, it has title, Spotify and CoBuzz resident within the application that's not only controls your music, but it also can control the whole preamplifier as well. Thank you for giving me some time to tell you about the Relentless Preamplifier's technology and features. It is a daunting preamplifier when paired up with the Relentless Mono Amplifiers. We're showing it in the silver here, but it's also available in the beautiful black finish that we offer throughout the product line. I hope you get a chance to give it a listen. Thank you very much again and enjoy your music.